This is video proof. This is not cool. Not good. Hold on, stay back. I just want to show everybody what I have to deal with. Boy, That's ridiculous right there. Hey, Jamie, turn off the side by side, will you? I don't want to take my eye off this guy just because my dad has denied this for years. Oh, I know he has. Like, no way the big boy could have done it, but guess who done it? Well, now there's video proof, and I'm glad I have it. I wish I would have caught him actually breaking the board. I heard it. So I'm driving by. I went down to the road to get the packages and the mail. And as I'm coming back up, he's sitting here watching me. Okay, not a big deal. That happens, you know. But I don't stop for him. And right as I'm passing, I hear crack. And I look. And if he didn't just ram his head right through that fence, break that. That's a, shh, Jamie, the longer he said, the longer we sit here and watch. Yeah, this is bad news, baby. Okay, and so everyone gets upset with us because you, you shouldn't be breeding them babies. We don't want to breed our babies. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I am guessing we must have a little female in heat. And so when, is this not the call of the wild? If this is not mother nature at its worst, well, you he's literally bending this thick steel Stop it, okay? I thought at first he was upset. Jamie, find something in that, in that here, I, that front box. I already opened, there's some crackers in there. Well, now we're gonna do an informal gifting goodies, the big boy edition. Can we just call it the big boy edition? That's just oatmeal? That's oatmeal, oatmeal and worms. And wortmeal. Did you hear me say that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at my fence, Jamie. Look at my fence, I spent so much time. Oh no, he's coming to the other side. At least keep it here, buddy. At least keep it in this one. All right, I'll try to come back and put a couple of staples in that. He's knocked the staples out of the post. He's cracked the board. He's pushed the board. Okay, well, no, there was two, that's a staple hole. I cannot believe this guy. Don't let him break more, babe. Okay, so Paw Paul needs to be made aware of this, and that would be my dad, and I'm hoping that he'll come down and fix it. Yeah. Well, we can fix it, but... Because this is not Ringo's doing. This reminds me of a video from about a year ago. Remember that video? Who shot JR? I've been contemplating this thing for the last couple of days, this whole Ringo escape, and uh, I think we finally have figured out what happened. There were three mysteries that had to be solved. And today, we go through all three of them step by step and break them down. And I think at this point, we have the information that we need to draw some pretty substantial conclusions. Watch this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing is that I believe that Ringo is being falsely accused of something. All right, hold on. A little investigative work here is not going to be hard to figure this over here out. They're saying that Ringo did this. All right, so they're saying that Ringo did this, but I can tell you for a fact, how could Ringo have done this? Because look, okay, so fine. There's Ringo. So it's true, Ringo is in my dad's pasture because whoever did this had to have come from the inside out. All right, so we're still trying to figure out this mystery of the broken gate, the broken fence. And I've been trying to observe Ringo all day long to figure out what he's doing to get out of this pasture. I don't know how he's doing it, folks. I am baffled. All the fences are repaired. Ringo's back where he belongs. My dad's goats are where they belong. And I'm just keeping an eye on him. I don't know if he's able to climb or what he's doing. Well, guess what, folks? Guess what we've discovered? Guess what we've discovered Ringo can do? Yep, you named it. So as you can see, the gate is latched, but <laughs> do you think that a simple latch on a cyclone fence is anything that's going to keep Ringo contained? It goes. That 
as you can see, he is slowly. Well, what he's trying to do right now is get himself all psyched up. Just like those football players before a football game. You know, they slap themselves across the face and headbutt each other, scream and holler, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, that's what our Ringo's doing. He comes and he's out. All right. So now Ringo has made his way out. And now we can only wonder what he's at. Okay, so this is where, this is where, okay, this is where it happened. Okay, so we already know that this is how it started. So we're solving clues. All right, so that's how it started. Now we got to find out the next step to our mystery. How did he get from this pasture over to that side? As you recall, the panels were pushed from the inside out. Now I'm going to call mom and dad's goats over here. Come on, little goats. Come on, little goats. Let's go. And I'm hoping this might entice Ringo to reenact. Hopefully he can reenact what he did a couple of days ago. Or I can prove to my dad that that guy right there is the culprit. That's my dad's buck. And as you can see, my dad's buck is a big... Well, he just looks mean. Okay, everyone sees how innocent Ringo is. All he's doing is hanging out and just doing, you know, what animals do. Now, it's obvious this guy right over here is the one that's looking for trouble. You saw the way he come running over here, and you can just tell from his, his demeanor and his facial expressions. See, Ringo's just saying hello. I mean, come on, you're cute. It's okay. Ringo's just saying hi. He, you did it, didn't you? Now show us how you did it. All right, so there's obviously some pushing and shoving going on here. Lots of pushing and shoving. Lots of goats trying to get to know each other. I'm still not sure how the panel got broken down, though. We're still wondering about that. All right, one thing is evident to me. No matter how much Ringo wants to be in that other pasture, there's no way he's able to get over there by himself. He had to have been helped over. Or helped under. And like I keep trying to say, that could have only come from that other side. All right, so here's what, here's what we know. Ringo does have the capacity to find himself his way out of his pasture. I've watched it happen. And that's how Ringo and all the Littles made their great escape. But the question remains, how did he get from his pasture over into that pasture? In saying so, he had to have gone under this fence that someone on that side, what do you want? Someone on that side had to have assisted in. Top of this hay. He is never gonna believe me. Oh my gosh. This is a mystery solver. I feel it coming. Oh my God. Watch, oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> oh, huh? It was definitely Ringo. That buck is a lot bigger than him. I'm pretty sure he was pushing out, running for his life, trying to get back home to Meg. Oh my gosh. Ringo! What happened? Ringo definitely jumped on top of that hay bale to jump over in that pasture. And I just want to make it what known I was right. This hay bale. He jumped on top of the hay roll and jumped over the fence. Yep. Ringo! Ringo! Ringo jumped on top of the hay bales and used it to jump right over into Papa's pasture. Which solved the mystery. He's ridiculously talented. Now your dad's got to go save him. Come here, Ringo. Gotcha. Okay, fine. So we figured out how he gets into the pasture. 
but that does not explain how somebody knocked the panels off the fence from the inside out. Because when I came home, he was in this pasture. It's not like he would have gone through all that work to get in and then tried to find his way back out. Who shot JR? This is the same thing. This is like the same kind of thing. I hate to leave you in a cliffhanger. Folks, I've been contemplating this all day long and I finally have just come to realize that I think that my dad is right. Ringo, Ringo tainted, tainted the evidence. evidence. Right. Where it was obvious he put, someone pushed panels. But, you're I to go to there's never been no trouble. He don't ever cause no problems. He never broke out. He just comes over here and antagonizes my goat. We gotta fix your goat, Dad. No. <laughs> Ringo's guilty. Ringo's guilty of pushing himself through our gate and letting all the littles out with them. Ringo is guilty of using the hay roll to jump over the fence into my dad's pasture. And it was also Ringo that dug that trench and used his horns to remove those corral boards all in an attempt to bring those girls home with them. It's happened before. Remember this? Y'all, it is hot in Cleveland, Texas. Ringo, are you bringing this many people home? This many people happens to be the neighbor's goats, most of whom appear to be female. So it's his harem. Oh, he's trying to create one. They're at the I'm a Survivor Sanctuary in Texas. Ringo! has summoned all the neighbor's goats and they're coming home with him. The black one you see rounding everybody up, that's Ringo, and Ringo is the one saying, hey ladies, come on over, come on over. Ah! Ringo, up all his ladies. <laughs> this is when the novella heats up. This is their, <laughs> this is their billy goat, just watching Ringo round up all of their girls. Well, do you not see the similarities? <laughs> Damn, Ringo. Oh my gosh. Ringo! What happened? Ringo? Come on, let's go in the pasture. Let's go. We gotta go home. You've created wreaked enough havoc for one day, for one week. Come on. Come on. Did y'all hear him say bye? Did y'all hear him say bye? You hear him saying bye? <laughs> so Lester went to go get some screws, see what kind of piece of board that we can find. But I'm going to sit here and see if we can't get Big Boy to put his attention on something else. I, oh, he's really, really, really testing me now. Papa likes to think he's this sweet, innocent goat that would never break out, never, never do a thing. But I got news for Papa. Big boy's busted. Mm-hmm. Why don't you come on down here, buddy? Come on, let's go for a walk this way. Just leave that space alone. Let Lester come back and fix it. Come on, this way. Come on, big boy. Boy, he's just adamant about being in this spot. He's really... For the record, he's about twice the size of Ringo. Now he is a, uh, I would say that known to be a gentle giant, but y'all saw what he's trying to do here. He broke that right in half. Yeah. What are you trying to do? The worst part is, is Ringo's fixed. So there are no breeding males in our pasture on purpose. Now, Big boy here, big boy here, definitely still a breeding male. 
And that's, you know, he's the herd sire for Pawpaw's herd. Okay, Lester's back and big boy is eyeballing him and mad that all that work that he put in is being destroyed right now. I'm curious to see how Lester's gonna patch that together because it's split down the middle. I don't think you can screw a... Oh, he's mad at you. He is like sad that you are destroying his craftsmanship. And I got news for you, big boy. Lester's also sad that you destroyed his craftsmanship. Ship. Boy, I can't say the word. Oh, you're making that weird face. Oh, somebody's definitely in heat. Okay, so that's... <laughs> I can't even take him serious. This is awful. He made... <laughs> Okay, so if you don't have goats, that's some weird thing of like, I don't know. All right, so what I've done is I've driven over here to this side of the pasture. That's our house in the far distance there. And I've brought some animal crackers and I've called my dad's goats over. And uh, this is just temporary. Uh, what I need to do is get those cows off that pasture because there's not a water source on that pasture. And then I'll close that gate over there, lock it. And my dad's not going to like that because it's going to take a lot of pasture away from Moses and uh, his little heifer. But we can't have Big Boy just walking along and tearing our fences up. And if he gets, and if, and if he gets over to our side... He's going to break into our pasture the same way he broke out of his. He'll break into ours. And he's going to end up breeding whatever little um, does are in heat. And I'll say one last thing. If you're wondering why we don't get the does fixed, guys, you can't fix does. Um, you can't get a goat spayed. Anyway, no, you cannot uh, spay a female goat. They do not do well with anesthesia and you end up losing them. All right, folks, we'll figure this out. Just another day in the life. <laughs>